just a quick note before we get into it guys I highly recommend watching this video because Christmas is coming up lots and lots of new people are going to be getting Forza Horizon 4 for the first time which is going to greatly help out this method so if you're watching this video right now before Christmas or even before New Year over the next couple of weeks until mid-January this method is going to be very, very good because there's going to be so many cheap cars on the market. You'll know what I'm on about when you watch the video, but trust me, this method is going to be at its prime on Christmas Day and stuff like that. Trust me. How's it going everyone? Jake XVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. In the past, I've made quite a lot of videos on how to make money in Forza Horizon 4. I've done, I think, two videos on other related stuff such as races and tips and tricks and stuff like that. I've done one video on the auction house, which was based on one auction house method. And then I've done an ultimate money making guide method, which combines loads of little ways. However, I still think there's quite a bit left. I am doing the ultimate auction house tutorial video. There's still a few methods and I there's still a few methods and tips and tricks in my head that I want to tell you all about the auction house so you can make loads of money yourself. Now I know there are going to be comments about oh you've already uploaded this tutorial before but trust me this video is just solely about money making on the auction house. There's going to be the same method which I mentioned quite a bit but a lot more in detail and how you can actually properly do it yourself and a couple of other methods as well to make your own money on the auction house. Now this is probably going to be quite a long video but if you want as many details and as much in-depth information as you want then I suggest watching most of it or at least the whole thing because there's going to be several, several different ways to make money in this video but it's all working around the auction house. Now obviously to make money on the auction house you're probably going to need to buy a car and then resell it. So that's genuinely how it works. You buy a car for low, you sell it for high which doesn't sound like it's actually really that easy but trust me once you get your head around it, it is. You buy a car or you buy a bunch of cars and then you sell the car or you sell the bunch of cars again. It's all based on buying and selling but the tricky thing is to notice but the tricky thing is is to notice and know what to sell and what to buy if you get what I'm saying and that's what this information is going to be crucial for. But uh, the main basis for the auction house is you need money to make money. But now you don't need that much. Let's say you only have 300, 400,000 in the bank. You can actually start from there. Um, I wouldn't say you'd have much luck starting from 50,000, 100,000. So keep playing the game until you get at least three, four, maybe 500,000 in your bank. And that's a good amount to start with. Now, the first thing I'd like to say is quite often you'll have a car or two in your garage that's actually worth a ton of money. But you don't actually realise, and it's not the type of car you've used, you'd never realise that it's actually there. So just do this, before we get into the actual methods, Just I'll just do this because you may be able to make some quick book by doing this. Go to your car collection, go to filter, and filter it to vintage racers. Now these cars are worth 10 million credits, and then if you've got a car here, they're worth quite a bit of money on the auction house. Now you can get these 10 million cars in wheel spins, you can get like the Jaguar D-Type and stuff like that in a wheel spin and you may not even notice because to you it may look like a rubbish car but it's actually worth millions. So if you go to your car collection, go to filter, go to vintage racers and if you have any of them there, you probably don't use them, so sell them. They won't go for 10 million credits but if you list them for let's say 3 million I can almost guarantee that they would sell. If not, listen for a million, and then that's a three million credits. But anyway, let me talk in detail about the main method that I have always used to get credits on the auction house. Now let me go over the basis of it. There are two types of people that list cars on the auction house. One type of person is like me, for example. Whenever I feel like getting some money, I have a look on in my car collection, put this car up for sale, you know, check how much they're selling for and then list it for that. That's quite normal. However, the type of people that we're wanting to target are the type of people that get a car in a wheel spin, think, eh, I don't want that, and then they just throw it on the auction house. They don't even care. They just don't think about it. They just put it up there. They just go straight through with it. And believe it or not, there's quite a lot of people that do that. And because they're listing these cars so quickly, they get listed for the lowest buyout price. And because it's so low, they sell very 
quickly, which is why you don't often see them on the auction house, but you're going to have to learn how to catch them, which is what I'm going to show you here. Now, I will explain how you can find the perfect car to do this with, so just bear with me. We're going to go very in detail in this video. However, for example, the Bugatti Veyron, just for example purposes, we can see that it's pretty obvious that the max buyout price for this is about 2.4 to 2.5 million. There's not really any higher than that, so that we can say that that is the max buyout price. And we want to find out what the lowest buyout price is as well. So let me just quickly go to my Veyron. Um, you don't have to do this with a car you already have. So let's go to my Veyron auction car. The lowest buyout is actually 1.2 million. So we're looking out for people that will list the Veyron for 1.2 million credits. And we saw that they were selling for over 2 million. So if we can find one of these people, list it for 1.2. And if we can buy it, if we could be the first person to buy it, that's 800,000 credits profit in a matter of minutes. It depends how long it takes you to catch this car. So that's the kind of basis you're going off. You're looking for a car that's selling for its max buyout price, for example, the Veyron, and you're continuously searching for it until someone lists it for the lowest, which we just saw was 1.2 million. But if I do this video on the Veyron, everyone is going to be doing the Veyron. So that's why I'm going to explain how you can find your own car to do this with so you don't have to worry about anybody else looking for the same car with you, if you get what I mean. Now, this doesn't really work with any cars that are less than, I'd say, 200, 300,000 credits. My most favourite used to be the BMW M6 Forza Edition. You know, I could search for this car and every single one would be at 500,000. And every now and then, you'd get one for 300,000. I'd buy it and I'd sell it for 150,000 credits profit straight away. But now, unfortunately, it doesn't work because there's 300,000s everywhere. It just doesn't work. So think of any car, think of any car that would be worth more than half a million up to 10 million. It can be any price. So high-end supercars, hypercars, Forza Edition cars. I'm going to try one I haven't tried before. Let's try the Hennessy Venom, for example. We'll see what this is like. In fact, it's working right now. This is proof. We can see that these Hennessy Venoms sell for 1.3 million, I mean, no one might bid on it, but that if someone comes to this listing and wants to buy one, they'll have to pay around 1 to 1.3 million. And if we scroll down, someone down here listed a Hennessy Venom for 600,000. I think it's only been listed for five minutes and no one's spotted it yet. So I'm just going to buy that real quick. Now, I'm actually very lucky to find a cheap car like that, but this is a pure example. This was the lowest buyout, this is the highest buyout, and someone's just listed it and not even noticed. But before you pick a car to do this with, you need to see how much they cost on the auto show. So we know that this Hennessy Venom, it costs 1.3 million. So if we go to the auto show, the, uh, the Venom GT, it costs 1.2 million new. So that's just kind of the same as what the were, they were listed for on the auction house. So if I search for Hennessy Venom again, you can buy them new for 1.2 million. However, I just paid 600,000 for that. And if someone comes to this listing, there's no way they're going to be able to get a Hennessy Venom for less than that. There's no way. Let's start the Hennessy Venom auction and go over to its auction car. Now this is good. They were all listed for 1.3 million, but no one's going to buy it for that because they can get it cheaper off the uh, the auto show. We got it for 600,000, so we don't want to list it for that because we'll lose money. Let's put it in the middle. I'm going to list this Hennessy Venom for 1 million credits for an hour. So now if we go back to the listing, that will be the cheapest Hennessy Venom on there. It's cheaper than the auto show. So I'd say I'm pretty confident that that Venom is going to sell and I'll make a good few hundred thousand credits profit just like that. So if we go to the Venom, all 1.3 million, 1.3, 1.3, 1.3, and then there's mine down at 1 million. These two guys have got theirs at 1.1, but mine is still the lowest on this list and it's still way more than I paid for it. Now let's try another one. This is, I'm pretending to be you right now. I'm pretending to be you looking around for the cars that I'm going to make the best money on. Because obviously everyone doesn't want to use the same car or the meth is going to break. So let's say you want to try it with the Reventon. You go to it and we can see that the listed for 1.8 and 1.9 million 
but they're also listed for 1.1 million as well 1.1 million there's a big big variation between them and that's not very good you don't want to be trying this method out with cars that have a huge difference between the buyout prices on the market so what i would say to this one is don't do it if you find a car that's similar to this where the prices are quite different leave it don't do it all oh, these are for two million let's think of another one what about the zembo st1 another example so if we go to this one it's 1.1 million 900,000 1 million the diff there's a bit of difference but not a huge amount now here actually this one's been listed for two minutes and it's it's listed for 700,000 credits but it doesn't look like the Zembos are actually selling very well, so we're going to leave that one as well. You need to look for ones where the buyout prices are all similar, such as the Bugatti Veyron, for example, we saw. Let's try the Ferrari LaFerrari. Now, this is a good one. This is a good one. All of these LaFerraris, every single one, for example, is bang on 1.7 million, 1.705, 1.697, they're all right around 1.7 million. And they're actually getting bids as well, they're actually selling. This guy's going to buy it for 1.3 million. So I found a nice car to try it out with here, the Ferrari La Ferrari. And we can see that they are listed for 1.7 million buyouts. Now the next thing I said to do is to check the... Um, the auto show price for them so where's the ferrari ferrari la ferrari now you could buy them on the auto show for 1.5 million which is quite close to the 1.7 million they were listed for so let me try and list a la ferrari and see how cheap they can be listed for so if i was a bit of a moron i could list the ferrari la ferrari for 800,000 credits so that is possible. We know that at some point, a Ferrari, La Ferrari, for 800,000 credits could be listed. So we're going to go to Ferrari. We're going to go to Ferrari, La Ferrari. We're going to go to confirm. And we're going to keep checking. You're going to, you're, you're going to keep going on the list. If there's none there, go back. If there is, go back. Keep checking. You know, keep checking. Go on and off. So I'm going to go back off again. And I'm going to search again. Now, we actually saw that the Ferrari, La Ferrari, it was actually selling for 1.3 million I think someone bidded so if we find one for 800,000 we're gonna instantly make like a few hundred thousand credits profit now I'll say this now do not bother bidding on these cars don't bid on this because it's so low it's gonna go up to like 1.3 million just focus on the buyout prices just keep searching over and over again I'm gonna go to my auctions here there we go look at that that Hennessy Venom that we listed like five minutes ago, we paid 600,000 for it and someone's just bought it for a million, just straight away. It's not even been an hour yet. Because I managed to spot it at just the right time, we've managed to make a few hundred thousand credits profit just like that. Now, I only had to search for the Venom once to find a cheap one. If you remember, it was already there. But usually you'd have to search over and over again, like we're doing for this LaFerrari, to find a cheap one. Honestly, it's so good. I mean, I know I've made a couple of videos on this method before, but it's just so good. And people don't actually know how good it actually is. But to put it short, the Ferrari La Ferrari, it does work. So if we were to continuously list for this, I'd have to wait to find one for maybe 800,000, maybe a million credits they'd be listed for. And that would give me some guaranteed profit. So the Ferrari La Ferrari would work. And that's how you try to find your own car to do this with. Stable buyout price, cars that actually sell, and you'll be all right. Right, so for this next method, you're looking for cars which there's not a massive amount of them listed. They do sell, and you're looking for ones where their buyout price is all over the place. For example, for this Pagani Huayra, they're, they're selling for about 1.1 million, as you can see. The buyouts are 1.7 million, and then they go down to 1.1 million, and then another 1.1 million. There's actually only two, but if you come across any cars where there's quite a few odd ones out, there's not one, there's several odd ones out, like this Pagani Huayra BC, there's this one for 1.1 million. Oh, it's actually sold. Okay, then. Where's the other one? I'm going to buy the other one. <laughs> I'm going to grab that. 
But if you've got enough money, you can actually clear out the whole auction section for a certain car, but only buy the cheapest ones. So what I was going to do, I was going to buy all of the ones that were listed for 1.1 million. I was going to buy them both. And then I was going to relist them for the high price. So then if someone wants to go and buy them, they can't buy them for 1.1 million because I cleared them all out, if that makes sense. Now, if you've searched for a car and it doesn't work, search for it again maybe a week later because in a week, the whole auction house could completely change for a certain car. The Koenigsegg 1 to 1, that is an extremely stable price. I'm not even going to bother with that one. So as I was saying earlier, for the other method, you're looking for cars which really do have a stable buyout price but if you find one that isn't stable and the buyout prices are all over the place then make them stable so here we go the Pagani Huayra to be honest I'm actually surprised at this this one's been listed for eight minutes this is a new listing and it's for 1 million and all the other ones are for like 1.4 million so I'm just gonna buy that and resell it and hopefully they sell for more than that because if someone wants a Pagani Huayra now, they're going to have to pay a lot more than a million, like I've just paid, because all of the others are listed for a lot more. Now, something else you're going to all need to know is the time of day. There's two different times of day that this method will work. It w Well, it works throughout the whole day, but it's kind of different from one half of the day to the other half of the day, and I'm going to explain how, why. Now, it may not be the same over Christmas, but think of it this way. I don't go to school or college, I've already been to all that, I've got loads of different incomes coming in at the moment, I'm doing fine, but that means that I can be on Forza at any time during the day. And I've noticed when I'm on in the middle of the day, when people are either at school, at work, or asleep in other parts of the world, there's not many cars being listed on the auction house at all. But maybe 5, 6 o'clock in the evening, when people are either... when people at some parts of the world are just waking up, when people at some parts of the world are in the evening, just like me in the UK, there's a lot of stuff going on in the auction house. Now, in the middle of the day, at a very quiet time, you'll know when it is, you'll know where you live, and you'll know when people are at school, or at work, you'll know when half of, the, half of the world is not playing video games. At times like that, there's not many cars being listed on the auction house, which means it's not going to be easy to find these cheap cars that get listed that we're gonna that you're trying to target. However, because there's not that many people on, there's not that many people trying to look for them as well. So you could very well look for like 20 cars and not find any, but you could search for another car and there'll be one sat there, super cheap for 10 minutes that no one's seen yet, because it's such a quiet time of the day. And it works the other way around as well. If it's a really busy time, so you've just got home from school, everyone in the country isn't at school, isn't at work and everything like that, the game's busy, there's lots of people on. But that also means that there's lots of cars getting added, but it's difficult to be the first one to buy them. So it works both ways. But if you're the type of person to be able to get on the game in these quiet times of the day, buy as many as you can. Buy them, try to find these cheap cars, buy them, try loads of different cars like I explained earlier and then wait until the busy part of the day, sell them and you'll have no trouble making profit. They'll, they'll sell instantly. Now, as I said right at the beginning of the video, because it's Christmas and holidays over the next couple of weeks, this method is going to be even better for everyone because new people are getting the game, there's going to be new people on the auction house, very cheap cars coming up. If you can control it correctly, you'll be able to make the most of this being Christmas and lots of new people on the game. So really this method just goes around learning the best cars that you can snipe for super cheap but will guaranteed sell for really more. Or even getting to the point where you manipulate the ones that are all over the place and then you make them stable by buying all the cheap ones, forcing people to have to buy the expensive ones, if that makes sense. I've tried to go into detail as much as I can here. We've we've probably made a million credits profit just from doing this today, and I've not even been trying, really. If I just go through my garage, you'll be able to see what cars these genuinely could work for, because it'll be the cars that I have multiple of. Um, the Bentley Continental GT did used to work at once. The M6 was insane. I used to have like 20 of these in my garage at once. But unfortunately, the M6 doesn't work very well anymore. The Bugatti Veyron still works very well. So please, guys, go do it with the Veyron. 
The Hoonicorn did work as well at some point. I've got two of the Mark Mark II, or whatever the Marks are. I've got two of those and three of those, so those we used to work at some point. The Lotus GT1s. These, this was an interesting one. It did work. It's a barn find. It's a different type of car to do it with, but this used to work at some point, and I've still got some left in my garage to sell on. So, yeah, I'm not going to make this video too long. I feel like I've explained most of what I can. I still had people getting confused as to how this actually works properly and I feel like this is as most in detail as I can go about all this information and it's up to date now it's a bit different from my other video I've got more detail I've told you different ways as well so yeah please in the comment section below if you've had luck with this getting to work then let us know tell me how much of credits you've managed to earn and tell me what car it was with because I'll be curious and then everyone else in the comment section can see that it genuinely does work so yeah guys, please leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content, and I'll see you all in the next video.